Hey guys, Sylvia here, looking like a cupcake today. I haven't really done a skincare video on my channel in a while now, which is kind of surprising because I talk about skincare a lot on my social media, like Instagram, and I think that skincare is the essence of life. So today I want to talk about a very important part of your face, but a very fragile part of your face, which is the eye area. I think the eye area is where a lot of people first see signs of aging, whether it be fine lines, wrinkles, darkening, etc. And while sometimes these things just come with age, there are ways that we can either slow down that process, help prevent the things that are happening, there are some things that we can fix, and then other things that you can just cover up. So today I'll be sharing five tips on how to deal with dark circles, wrinkles, and fine lines. So this one is a little bit of a personal journey for me, so I don't remember exactly when, but sometime in the last year, I randomly woke up one day to an allergic reaction, and I don't really have allergies that I know of, and to this day I don't really know what brought on that allergic reaction, but I got hives all over my body, and then a few hours after that I started getting a reaction on my face, I was getting dry scaly spots around my mouth all around my eyes was completely dry scaly it looked like I had rashes or infections so I took some antihistamines and while it got rid of the initial reaction I was left with scarring around my face the skin all the way under my eyes was this like snaky scaly texture it felt like snake skin it was really rough dry and just not good at all. And that is what led me to find a product that was perfect for people who had very dry skin around their eyes, scaly texture, and it was the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Ultra Eyes. So half of the products that I talk about in this video I don't have on me because I've used it up and that's how I know I liked it. Previous to this I tried a bunch of other eye creams. I was trying the Kiehl's Avocado one to see if it would help um, because I thought it was nice and thick and that it would, but it didn't. And this La Roche-Posay one was the only one that actually worked for me. It took about a week for me to start seeing results but eventually my skin returned to its normal form, got rid of the scaliness, got rid of the dry flakiness, and it was like a beautiful skin texture again. So once I got the skin around my eyes to be a more normalized texture, what I was left with was really, really deep, fine lines. Actually, would they be called fine lines if they're deep? Because they're deep, they're not fine. Very, very deep, wrinkly lines around my eyes. Like it was full on just creases under my eyes. It was so noticeable to anyone and I couldn't even use product to cover it up because the product would just sink into all the lines and it would look awful. So the La Roche-Posay Tolerant Ultra Eye did help a little bit with the lines, but there are two other products that I found really helped with the lines once the La Roche-Posay product dealt with like the scaly dryness of my skin. So first thing I started using the Peter Thomas Roth Eye Patches. The ones I used in particular were the Clinical Skincare Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel Eye Patches. These helped immensely, especially if you wanted a quick fix right in that moment in time. What I would often use them for is to put on the eye mask before I put on makeup because it would seal all the fine lines in and then I was actually able to put on some makeup under my eyes. Or even better, I would actually wear them overnight and when I woke up in the morning it was such a smooth surface, all the lines were filled in and I was able to put on my makeup. It did also improve my lines over time but I love that it was an immediate effect that I could deal with right away as well. To this day I'm still a strong believer in eye patches because it makes a huge difference in the lines on your eyes right when you put on makeup or even just giving some brightness and hydration under your eyes as well so if you guys have never tried eye patches before I would highly recommend it and then the product that was not only great at filling in the lines and giving me that smooth surface but also helped brighten my under eyes a lot was the Laneige water bank eye gel it's thicker jelly texture just really filled in all those lines and over time it really helped fill in my lines completely and get rid of the deep lines so nowadays I do not have any any deep lines under my eyes I can happily wear a little bit of concealer a little bit of eye product under my eye and because the product was this gel format in this like glass jar it actually kept the product naturally very cooling and every morning when I put it on it honestly made me feel much more awake because it had this like nice cooling sensation to it and that cooling sensation really helps with the brightening of your under eye as well I did notice that after I put it on my eyes just looked more awake more bright and the lines were a lot smoother so if you don't have a problem with texture or fine lines but for you it's more just dark circles I have come across a tip that's helped me a lot so one day I was using a nude sticks blush that's like a pink cream blush and I was putting it on my cheeks and I accidentally just went like a little bit too high under my eyes and then I started to notice that it was actually kind of canceling out the darkness under my eyes and I know color correcting has always been a thing but like I'm just not that artistic to go 
in and do all that kind of stuff. I just was using my blush, happened to get a bunch of it under my eyes, and then started to use my concealer just to cover it up and notice that it made my eyes look way brighter. The pink that I use is actually very similar to this shirt right here. It's like a bright pink. And for me personally, that color works really well to brighten up my under eyes. I can't really speak to everyone's skin tone because I am definitely not like a color expert or anything like that. But for my particular skin tone, this bright pink really helps cancel out that darkness. I even did it today. Do my under eyes look very bright? <laughs> and last but not least, my last tip is just for prevention. What I didn't realize in the past when I was younger and doing my makeup, I would be pulling on my eyes or when I would take off my makeup, I would just be like dragging along my eyes and you really start to see that kind of stuff set in as you get older. So if you're younger than me and your skin isn't aging the way that I am, I would highly recommend to not pull on your eyes when putting on any makeup or eyeliner or to drag on your eyes when taking off makeup because I can see now when I look in the mirror, I still have fine lines, like it's just part of aging, but my fine lines go exactly in the direction that I was pulling. So all my fine lines go out like this and you can see the movement of my fine lines because I would always be pulling this way. So you really do see that in your skin later on. So if you're not there yet, that's just something to look out for. And secondly, I know that dark circles is partly sometimes genetic, but I think it also has to do with your lifestyle a lot as well. Drink a lot of water because darkness around your eyes is showing that you're dehydrated. It's sinking in, meaning that you're dehydrated. So drink a lot of water and that will help you look more awake fresh and alive. I hope you guys found this video useful and maybe picked up a tip or two. If you guys have any other tips, please leave them in the comments below and share your secrets. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.